what's your advice to students about that? Sometimes, and depending on the, on the audience, I really like to, um, if I use a PowerPoint, mm -hmm. then I tend to, I don't use, I use um, images rather than a bunch of words on a mm -hmm. PowerPoint. So mm -hmm. it's, here's an image, and then I can talk about it. So mm -hmm. I'll use, and I'll use a graph sometimes. I'm, I'm talking about income and union density. So I'll so use a graph mm -hmm. that explains mm -hmm. it really well. Uh, lately, a lot of the places I've been talking don't have, they just don't have the ability to do that, it, to mm -hmm. put up a PowerPoint. And so I've been using my hands, my own mm -hmm. <laughs> personal, this graph is you know, productivity, this graph is income, and to show kind of what's happened, which I actually, I did that the other day, and somebody afterwards said, I love that. I'm going to do that all the time. So I think being able to do that. Um, I've and music, I I'm love music. And so if I can, sometimes I'll start off, right before I start, I'll start off with part of a song. Mm -hmm. um, Sing it well, if you, I, I'll play it if people are lucky. If people are unlucky and I don't have the ability <laughs> to play it, sometimes I'll sing like a line. <laughs> but, mm. but I'm not a great singer. So <laughs> but that's part of what's fun about it. I think people should sing. I think people should sing because singing's a good thing. So, um, And I also do one of the things that I do just as part of my work, um, I've started we've started um, at our conventions, things like that, opening with a song that everybody stands up and sings. And that kind of gets people, gets the adrenaline running and the endorphins flowing. And mm -hmm. so I think that's a, I think it makes, it makes us sound a lot better when people are in that mm -hmm. kind of joyful space. 